All right, now we're going to do the this uh, unpublished service, which is the um, which reverses the operation that we just implemented, which is to to publish a, a wiki page in the uh, in the publisher application. So we're going to need a uh, to create an unpublished news item service servlet. I'm going to copy that. So I'm trying to get rid of that little space right there. Let's go ahead and do that. So here we have um, in the publisher application. Here's publish news item service. Let's create a new uh, class called unpublish news item service. And we're given the code on this. Let's paste it in there. So what happens when well, we want to unpublish an, a news item in the, the wiki is going to um, is going to invoke this uh, this web service. It's going to tell the publisher to find the news item with the ID that I give it that the wiki gives it and then we're going to delete that news item from the list of news items. All right, let's uh, let's keep reading on here. We need to configure this. It's a new servlet. And let's find that. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Oops. Alright. Hmm. And, uh, we're not going to get burned this time like we did in the last section. We need to open up this um, this URL path or pattern uh, to let requests uh, come in for that uh, for that um, for the servlet that's sitting behind that that URL pattern. So let's go into the security filter again and add that exception. Here's the exception to allow publish requests to come in. Here is the new exception to allow unpublished requests to come in. And uh, that means anybody can publish or unpublish a news item. Uh, so what we're going to do in subsequent sections is to, um, to, uh, to use an authentication mechanism to control who can actually publish and unpublish uh, news items. So we're going to do that later, so we're just going to open it up at this point here. Let anybody in. And uh, here's the, the code that invokes the unpublish web service. Here we construct the HTTP headers, we send the headers, and we read the response. Everything is in the headers. There's no there's no content because we're using a get request. There's no a content to each HTTP request, and it should be testable at this point. Just going to scan through there. So all we need to do is uh, go to the wiki, and in the unpublished page servlet find that unimplemented method. This is a method that we created a stub for called unpublish. See, this is a stub. Doesn't do anything yet. Let's paste that in there. I'm gonna, just going to clean up the indentation there. And we're going to need to resolve these guys here. So I'm going to 
Organize Imports. Java IO input stream is right. Java IO output stream is correct. Let's save this. No build errors. And uh, this is essentially testable. Uh, but what I'd like to do is, um, and we could do that. We could. This is labeled as being unpublished. That's okay. Let's go ahead and um, and stop and start the publisher application because that we modified its deployment descriptor. And let's reload the wiki application. And now we're going to try unpublishing. Are you sure? Yes, unpublish. As you can see, the link has changed to publish. Let's look at the list. As you can see, it's now gone. And here's the, um, the website. We hit refresh, it's gone there as well. So that is, in fact, working. We can also check the database. And as you can see, this hello page, the we don't delete the published ID, but we do set the published field to zero. So this, what would be in published ID is now um, not, not needed. And um, we could zero that one out as well. We don't do that, but that's something that we could have done. Let's look at um, the news items. You can see that we used to have a hello page, and now we don't have that in the news item list that completes uh, this section.